Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to a new episode of Games and Names. Our sport for this episode is the sport of karate, and our featured star guest is coach Muhammad Taha. So let's get to know more about karate in Egypt and about uh, coach or sensei Taha in the upcoming minutes of Games and Names. Karate is a martial art that originated in Okinawa with its history being able to be tracked back to the 1300s. Brought to mainland Japan in the early 20th century, it has become one of the world's most popular martial arts and has developed several different styles including Shotokan, Ojorui, Kyokushinkai and Wadoru. Karate, unlike Japanese Judo, is primarily a striking art and involves the use of punches, kicks, knee and elbow strikes and various other striking techniques. Some forms of karate may also include a small amount of throws, joint locks and grappling, though it is an exciting striking art that karate is known. Karate is practiced all around the world by people young and old. Some famous people to have achieved karate black belts include James Caan, Sean Connery, Forrest Whitaker, Grills, and Elvis Presley. Practitioners of karate are known as a karateka, and for those that want to compete, karate has a big sporting element known as kumiti with the World Karate Federation being the world's largest organization overseeing the sporting side of the martial arts. The WFK, the World Karate Federation, hosts competitions across the world and is the only karate governing body recognized by the International Olympic Committee. My name is Muhammad Taha Sayyid Al Bahnasi. I own a black belt, a dan in karate, four dan in aikido, two dan in judo, and one dan in aido. I learned aikido and judo while serving for the army starting from 1967. And then I started to learn karate by the year 1970. I participated in a number of tournaments uh, with the army, especially in the 70s. I played Arab championships and world championships as well. And then I entered into the field of coaching and I was lucky enough to be one of uh, the few people who served to um, make the sport popular in many of our neighboring Arab countries like Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, uh, Iraq, and Jordan. We started uh, having uh, national championships for the sport of karate here in Egypt uh, from the year 1982. And uh, we also um, had World University Games here and we participated in many world championships I personally played in World Cups in Bremen and Amsterdam and a number of Arab championships uh, um, that were mainly held in Jordan and Syria.
حضرتك بالنسبه لصفات اللاعب I believe that self-confidence is the most important characteristic that a karate uh, athlete should have. Uh, uh, also, the karate player should have great confidence in uh, his uh, coach. We have to know that uh, preparation, uh, preparing a, a player, building uh, a player takes uh, time and, and patience is very important. There are four types of uh, preparations. Uh, they are physical, uh, psychological, general and uh, specific. And uh, of course, uh, before um, championships, uh, uh, you have to prepare a player um, very well physically. Um, players should have great uh, endurance and great fitness. And then we take down that load just ahead of the tournament and start uh, uh, focusing on the psychological uh, preparation and also on the um, special or specific preparations that have to do with uh, skills and uh, tactics. Uh, also very important uh, uh, for a player um, is the element of, of discipline, especially when it comes to the sleeping and eating uh, habits. In kata competitions, we usually have uh, five uh, judges, uh, and that is until the uh, final stages of any championship. As in the final rounds, uh, we elevate the number of judges to seven. In Komote, we have five uh, judges uh, as well, one in the middle, and that is the main judge, and four in the corners. We have very talented, uh, successful uh, players uh, in Komote here in Egypt. We have Firiel, uh, Jennifer Wu, uh, Tore, and, and others. Uh, uh, but in Kata, we still lag. Um, as far as the selection process for the national team player goes, uh, first you have to win your zone championship, uh, win in your governorate. And then uh, you play in the national um, championship, and then we select the top four uh, for uh, each weight uh, division, and they uh, in turn um, go to a training camp that is organized by the uh, Karate uh, Association here in Egypt and go into the final qualifiers for the final uh, selection process.
youth players, of course, have a very dis special, distinct uh, and different uh, way of uh, preparing them. Uh, we have to take into account uh, uh, their academic uh, uh, career as well, and not only their sports uh, path. So it's a gradual process that focuses on um, physical preparation. And of course, uh, there are uh, many um, exercises designed to um, teach them the basic skills of the sport. So it's basically skills and uh, uh, and physical preparation alongside psychological preparation. Of course, globally, Japan is a leader uh, in uh, the sport of uh, karate. Regionally, we have Turkey. They are very strong. We also have many uh, competitors in the uh, Arab uh, uh, region and African uh, region, uh, but we are a special uh, uh, here in the uh, Arab world, we hold a special distinct uh, place and most recently in the um, last tournament that was organized by uh, Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, the Egyptian team came in first in both the Komote and Kata competitions. Karate was inducted as an Olympic uh, sport uh, in the previous Olympic Games uh, in uh, Tokyo in the summer, but it was taken out of the upcoming uh, France Summer Olympic Games, and that is bad news for us. I mean, we hope that uh, you, you know um, karate would uh, become again uh, an Olympic sport. We fought so hard to have it as an Olympic sport. Uh, and we did uh, have that privilege in Tokyo and we did gain medals there because we are um, really a special country when it comes to uh, karate. Uh, but unfortunately, the sport was taken out uh, from the upcoming Summer Olympic uh, Games. Uh, we have a lot of important protective uh, equipment uh, in uh, Komote competitions in karate, uh, head uh, protective equipment, legs protective equipment, and hands, of course, protective equipment. Uh, and we have different types of, uh, uh, of uh, 
uh, competitions uh, within Komote. We have the uh, Kukshunkan, the Yudiro, the Shotokan, and they are all different from uh, each other. Um, now, as far as the efforts to spread uh, karate in Egypt are concerned, I believe that uh, getting uh, back karate in uh, schools uh, uh, and having uh, regular um, school competitions is very important for that. We now have a, um, a national um, school uh, championship and that uh, has really uh, helped uh, those uh, efforts and uh, we hope to expand in that. Uh, uh, Kata is like the root of the tree of karate and practicing kata takes and exhumes much more effort than practicing komote. Kata needs a bigger psychological, physical 
and uh, mental uh, preparation uh, needs really a lot of study. Only um, uh, you know, professionals and, and experts know how to prepare a kata player. And once you are a good kata player, you can be a good Komote uh, player. Uh, well, I'm lucky to be the representative of Japan's GKA uh, here in uh, Egypt. Uh, and uh, my dream is to see um, Egypt excel, uh, continue to excel in Komote and excel in Kata uh, in the future and to have uh, uh, karate back in the Summer Olympic Games.